All right, this is a tutorial on how to create custom audio emitters with custom audio. It is not hard, but it is easy to get confused. So I'm going to run you through it very simply. First things first, download the template in the description. Next, go into SFX, DLC audio emitter, and there should be three files. This middle one, you do not need it. Just make sure you have the folder and the XML. First things first, open up, drag your audio in there. If you don't know how to create the separate uh, tutorial audio left and tutorial audio right, I will link you in the description a book 3D video. There he describes how to do it. Next, go into the uh, XML file, change all these names to the respective audio name. So in my case, it's tutorial underscore audio. And then you just copy that here. This one goes here. Save, close, import into CodeWalker, double click. That should all work. Drag it in. And then you can delete those files. You do not need them anymore. Now, Go into SFX and change the DLC name. In this case, I'm going to change it to Tutorial Audio 01. Copy this name. Go to your FX manifest and change the audio wave pack SFX and just paste in the name you have. Make sure you do not delete the DLC, it must stay there. Next, go into your audio config and there should be two xml files um just go ahead and open those up first we're going to edit the dat 54.rel first things first um where it says dlc paste in your uh dlc name so that should be here here and here next after that there should be a slash this is going to be whatever name that this is. So in my case, it is custom emitter 01. I'm just going to quickly copy this name, paste it here, here, and here. So now that should all be good. We can start editing the actual sounds. First things first, in streaming sound, go ahead and edit this to Audio. Next, change this. Uh, change this, 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 and this. All to tutorial audio. So. These are the same, and these are the same. So whatever these two are named, these two should be named, if that makes sense. Now, copy this name right here, just copy it, save your file, and move on to the DAT 151. First things first, for the station, change the radio to radio underscore whatever you want it to be, in my case, tutorial. Just make sure there are no capital letters. Again, you're gonna change it for this one as well. This one is going to be the exact same as the other two, except uppercase. Change this to whatever you want it to be. Just make sure these, these two have to be the same. Scroll down. This is what we copied from here, so. Copy this and paste it under hash one. If you copy um, this from item to item, all this, you can create as many audio tracks as you want. Just make sure you have separate AWC files for each one and make sure that the stream name is different and Pasted here. So how you do that, 
is you would just copy from hash one to hash one, enter, paste it in, and then change it. But in my case, I'm only having one. Now change the change these two to be the same thing. So this one and this one. Save it and change your radio station to the one you created earlier. Okay. Um, one final thing, the position right here is where your static audio is going or static emitter is going to be. If you have multiple static emitters, make sure to define them in your emitter list. So um, just same thing as the hash, you just copy item to item, press enter, paste it in, change the name to whatever the static emitter is, and you're good to go. How I set position is I go into CodeWalker. Once CodeWalker is loaded up, I find where I want my static emitter to be. In this case, I want it to come out of this radio right here. I just create a project, create a new entity, and move it to where I want the audio to originate from. In this case, it's gonna be about right here. So what you do is just copy the position. So this is my, you don't have to, but I prefer to change it to four decimals. I'm not sure if you have to do that, but um, it's good habit too. Just make sure everything is nice and clean. Once your position is set, save it, go to your code walker, AWC, details, multi-channel source, scroll down, length, not length string, just length, copy that, go into your DAT54, Scroll down until you find duration, duration value. Paste that in, delete the period, save it, and it should be good to go, both of them. Save, close, close, drag both your XMLs in, drag them, oh, I'm actually gonna rename them, but you can do that here. Delete your XMLs, go here, change this to Audio. Once that's all good, go to your double check. Yep. Go to your FX manifest. Audio config. Change both of these to what you edit it to. Make sure everything looks good matches up and start your server okay so like i said the audio was not working and i figured out why the file name was incorrect it is tutorial underscore audio so uh, make sure that your audio names are correct it does make a difference Okay, as you can see, it now works. This is my custom audio. So, um, I hope this tutorial is helpful to at least one person. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.